I have tested and paid for dozens of AI editing tools, and these are the only five worth using. You can create these crazy Hollywood effects without a team of editors. With just a single prompt, you can make cinematic short films, create a clone of yourself, the language of the universe. Every action, reaction, and orbit, it's all math in motion. Have AI edit all your videos for you, there's a new AI video generator straight out of China that creates high quality videos that look like movies. It's and you can even make entire animated stories with just a few clicks of a button. So in this video, I'll go through all these tools and if you want to try any of them out, the link for each is in the description below. So the first tool in the list is called Higgsfield AI and it lets you generate insane video effects like this. How I create those effects is actually really simple. First, I needed some images of myself, so I generated a few using OpenR. Then if we go to Higgsfield, and if I click create video, and then click the change button right here, you can see all the effects available to you. Let's try the building explosion effect. So I'll click that, and then I'll use this image of myself walking away from a warehouse at night. For the prompt, I find that using a very descriptive prompt works the best. I'll keep enhanced turned on. For the model, Turbo works best, and for the advanced settings, I'll leave it all at default. Click Generate, and here's my result. It looks amazing, and I definitely wouldn't be able to create an effect like that all on my own, but what I can do is add some sound effects on my own, and here's the result now. So I have this image here and I want to add a video effect where we zoom in to his right eye. All I need to do is click on create then select video, click change right here, and here you can see all the effects we can use. Since I want the eye zoom effect, I'll type eyes in in the search box and then select this effect right here. I'll upload my image and prompt right here. This is the result we got. I also have this image here and just by using the angel wings effect, we got this result in seconds. Generating effects like these takes hours and expensive equipment if done manually. Now you can just do them with one prompt, you can even use these video effects using your own face. The next tool turns long form content into short reels within minutes. Meet Opus Clip. I know that clipping videos takes a lot of time, it requires you to consume the content, save the interesting segments, edit the video, add captions, and even if you don't want to do all of that by yourself, hiring an editor to do all of that will cost some money. But with Opus Clip, all I need to do is copy the link of my YouTube video. Drop the link right here. I want the clips to be around 30 to 60 seconds and for the aspect ratio I'll go with 9 by 16. For the preset you have a lot of options here and you can even make your own template. But for now we'll just use this karaoke preset. Click generate and I'll wait for a few minutes. The reels have finished generating and Opus Clip has generated over 20 reels for us to use. Not all clips that we got are publishable, so you still have to select the best ones yourself. The great thing is that Opus Clip has this viral score feature that lets us know how likely your clip will go viral. Take a look at this one, I can upload this on my Instagram and get more traction for my video. Once you are on the OpenArt home screen, click on video. Here you have two different options, you can use the text to video or you can use the image to video model. And all I had to do was copy and paste my link on Opus Clip and wait for a few minutes. The third tool on the list lets you create animations like this with just a single prompt. How I created that is using OpenArt's brand new Stories feature. To access the tool, go to OpenArt and click on Story. You will see four different types of stories you can create. But let's try out the character vlog. Click character vlog and you can either make your own custom character or choose a pre-made one. I'll choose the pre-made one and pick this cute polar bear named Bobo. Now for the prompt, you can make your character do anything you want. You have presets prompts here to help you like shopping and cooking, so let's try the cooking preset. For the aspect ratio, keep it at 16 by 9 and set the background music to auto. In the advanced setting, keep the image model the same, but I'd switch the video model to Kling 2.1 Pro as that will give us the best results. Now click on create story, here's the result.
That entire animation was made with just a single prompt, which I think is amazing, as the other alternative is to hire a team of animators. Now let's say you didn't like one scene. I find this shot weird because his foot is touching the dough. So you can just click edit this story and you'll be directed to the built-in editor. What I find amazing is this option right here. Click list view and you'll see the scene arranged for you. Let's find the scene we want to change, which is this one. And change the prompt of the image from directly above the work surface to standing beside the work surface. Then click retry image. Here's the new image we got. Now our new image would be automatically synced to the video option. So all you have to do is click retry video and OpenArt will regenerate the shot using our new image. After we've edited our story, you can just export the entire thing and you're good to go. This is our final version of Bobo Making Pizza. And as a bonus, here's Bobo trying to get that degree. Creating these stories literally took little to no effort at all. I barely even wrote a single line of prompt in generating these stories. If you are a content creator, the fourth tool I'm gonna show you will save you hours. Meet captions. With captions, you can automatically generate subtitles for your videos and even make a clone of yourself to record your videos for you. Inside captions, select AI twins on the side panel under team library. And you'll have two options. You can either record a video or upload a video. For this one, we'll use the upload video option. A one to two minute video would work. Try not to go beyond the two minute mark as this will overload the system. Make sure you're using your own face in the video to avoid getting sued and all those kinds of trouble. For my twin's name, I'll just use Dan. Click done and your clone will be available within 15 minutes ready to use inside your AI creators list. Now you have an AI generated clone that is always ready to record videos for you. Let's make him introduce himself. Hey guys, I'm Don's completely AI generated twin. Let me know in the comments below if I look realistic enough. Now let's say you don't want to use your face as a clone or you're trying to start an entirely new channel in a new niche, but you also don't want to use other people's images and get into trouble. You can instead use Caption AI's creator tool. Click the AI creator tool and you'll have three options. Select custom. Now I asked ChatGPT to make me a 200 word script talking about psychology to use for this example. Paste your script in the prompt box and click edit style. Now you can select which creator you want to use. For this one, I decided to use Jake since he looks like he knows psychology. And for the captions, I will use monster. Click generate video, wait for a couple minutes, and now we have our completely AI generated content. Psychology is the study of the mind and behavior, but don't let that fool you. It's not just about Freud and couches. The last tool I'm gonna show you is my personal favorite since it has the most potential among all the tools I showed, and that is Google Flow Extend feature. With this feature, you can literally create AI films. It's just insane. So I'm in Google Flow and Inside Flow. Make sure you're using text to video and have the VO3 quality selected as this will give you the best results. Keep outputs as one or you will end up wasting a lot of credits. Generate a scene using your prompt. This is the result I got. Target down. After you've generated your video, click at the scene and go directly inside scene builder. Now here's where the magic happens. We can extend this scene using VO2 fast so before another gunfight, I want to see the Navy SEALs going inside the building. I'll use this prompt and hit generate. Now we got our extended version, but unlike VO3, VO2's quality is not that great. This part where they enter this alley with these shiny white tiles feels weird and out of place. So we'll have to make some adjustments. The good thing is you can just edit the video inside the scene builder. So I'll just remove this excess part right here and we're good to go. With our final scene, I'll generate another gunfight inside the building using VO3 with this prompt and click generate. Wait a couple seconds and here's our final video. The only issue I have here is that the extend video option is only compatible with VO2 at the moment which compromised the quality for me. 
but for sure, Google is working on having the extend option work with VO3 soon. And if that happens, AI generated films would get even crazier. You can find the links to all the AI tools mentioned in the description down below. Out of these five AI tools, which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Click the video on the screen right now. If you want to learn in depth how you can use OpenArt to create stunning animations.